Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Black Box Live. I am your host, Amy Jordan, coming to you live from the HC Universal Studios. On the other side of the dial is my partner in crime, Chris Jordan, ringing all the bells and blowing all the whistles to make sure this show comes together and looks amazing. I hope you enjoyed episode one. We enjoyed providing it to you, and we have a great show for you tonight that we are so excited to share. But the most important thing that we want to get out to you guys is the idea that we are raising money for entertainers. There are lots of people out there without jobs, people like us who worked in conventions or live entertainment, people out there that were making films or television shows. They are stuck at home the same way you are, and they are unable to put things together, and a lot of them have lost their jobs and have no money coming in. So we have created this fund to help them with their needs. We have the Entertainment Industry Fund, and you can donate to that on one of three websites. That's right. We started a new website for blackboxlive.tv. Blackboxlive.tv. That is our new website. We're excited to share with you with all things Black Box Live. And you can also still go to goodcouncilinc.org and hcuniversalnetwork.com to donate. These are three websites where you can go and contribute money to help live performers all across the globe. Also, if you are a live performer and you are in need of help, please go to the websites and check it out. You can apply to get some of the money. We are trying to put money together to help people and whatever we have, we are going to distribute out to people in need. So please apply for the fund and we are happy to help you if we possibly can. Fingers crossed. Everybody spread the word, help get the donations out there so that we can help people who are in need. And once again, our new website is blackboxlive.tv. Oh, I'm just real excited about it. It's really great. So let's get into the show. Maybe you noticed a moment ago that we opened up with musical parody from Jamal Knox. Jamal Knox, amazing, as we know from our first show. And this time, he put together a little snippet of a parody from Childish Gambino, and he entitled it Stay Home. Really hilarious, really wonderful, and I can't believe he plays guitar so amazingly well. It was a great clip, and I was very excited to share it with you guys. After this introduction, and I love you guys, I'm so excited that we're here, yeah, episode two, the next clip that's coming up is going to be with an amazing clown duo, a former Ringling Brothers clown duo made up of Gabor Nimes and Laurel Peiro. They are from Las Vegas, and this is their circus performance, Bistro Boo Boo. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs>
Up next is a music video from electronic band Shakawachi Jones. You are going to enjoy the synthesized soundscapes and Shakawachi flutes all through this crazy wild music video. It is really amazing and uh, you're going to enjoy their song Trail of Prometheus. If you want to learn more about Shakawachi Jones, go to their website shackjones.com that's s h a k j o n e s.com enjoy Next up is a musical parody from The Little Mermaid from Austin comedian Olivia Logan Wise. This was a hilarious video that I found when I 
first got stuck in quarantine and it really captures what we're all going through. You're gonna enjoy this. To follow Olivia, please go to her website, olivialoganwise.com and enjoy this video. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl, a girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one bookshelf hold? Looking around here, you'd think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. Walking around with no. What do you call it? Oh, social distancing. Flipping through films, you don't get too far. Gloves are required for shopping, leaving. Strolling around in those. What's that word again? H-E-B. Out where they walk, out where they run, out where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. <laughs> Next up is the pilot from the animation collaborative Sir Mayhem. They shared with us their pilot of the cartoon Mayhem that they have put together and it is really great. You're going to enjoy it. Support this group by going to their YouTube channel, Magpie, M-A-G-P-I-E, or by going to patreon.com forward slash Sir Mayhem X. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to donate to the Black Box Live Fund, the Entertainment Industry Fund, on blackboxlive.tv, goodcounselinc.org, or hcuniversalnetwork.com. All of these websites are places where you can go and donate money to great artists like this so that they can get back out in the world and create amazing art for you. Enjoy. in this contest to create the deadliest machine imaginable. Grab your tools and start building! Build now, you pathetic stop! Gasoline? Vaseline. So? Sauce. Stingray? Careful, it smells. Stingray. Time is up. I shall now judge those devilish creations. And they'd better be impressive. I present to you the Boombox of Doom! To kill in style. Always gonna kill you. Always gonna push you down. Always gonna run all around. Always gonna push you down. Hmm, quite charming. Thank 
very impressive. I will show you true destruction! <laughs> You better have something really good this time. Do not disappoint me. Yo, chill out, bitch. I proudly present to you the deadliest, most toxic, most evil, Doom Ray! <laughs> What have you been bloody putting in there? You idiot! Vaseline! Sauce! And a dead stingray! Oh, uh, I guess I must have misheard that. Must be. <laughs> my brain cells slipping away from my terrible sense of humor. Like we're first place again. Next up is Austin comedian Simply Courtney. Simply Courtney is an amazing comedian that is usually on stages all across Austin. But this clip is actually from his home because he, like everybody else, is stuck at home. He wishes he could be out there performing for you, but he can't. So he submitted this to us so that he can still make you laugh. I hope you enjoy it. Please support Simply Courtney by going to his website, and listening to all of his other comedy. Thank you so much and enjoy. What's up, what's up? I'm joining y'all live from my house. Uh, I got a bed sheet 
serving as my backdrop behind me. This is tough. Doing comedy with no audience in front of you is difficult. But uh, anyways, man, my name is Simply Courtney, and I am a Uber driving comic. Uh, having the name Courtney and being an Uber driver is super confusing for my passengers. Imagine 3 o'clock in the morning, you get a notification on your phone that says your driver has arrived. You open the door, and all of a sudden, it's this that greets you. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my car. Yeah, people don't like it. Um, I've had some really weird occurrences. Like, I had a woman uh, legit open my door. Like, I'm a, I'm a southern gentleman, so when you come to my car, I greet you. So, she opens the door, and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to my car. I'm Courtney. She looks at me, looks at her phone, looks back at me, and just said, nope, and closed the door on my face. That's a real thing. It sucked, man, because it was raining. This lady chose torrential downpour over me. Now, don't feel bad for me because I got her back. I circled the block and I splashed her. I did. Yes, I did. I'm petty. I'm as petty as they come. Oh, man. Um, Hey, that ain't the craziest thing I've had. I had a lady once. I, I, I uh, explained. I said, I welcomed her to my car. I was like, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to my car. This woman legitimately responded, are you sure? That's a legit response. She asked me, am I sure? Now, we all know what she was implying by asking that question, right? She was implying that I stole the car and kept the job that came with the car. Who who does that? Breaks in the car is like, yeah, yeah, got a new car. Oh, yeah, new car. Wait a minute. New job, new me. Hey, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Oh, man, nobody's stealing cars and jobs at the same time. What's wrong with you? Crazy. I, um, I, I, I've had a lot of weird occurrences, man. Like, for a short period of time, I worked with kids. And, like, on my uh, first day on the job, a big old fight broke out in the gym. And I actually went out into the gym and tried to break the fight up. There's this group of kids. They're all beating up on one kid. I was like, hey, you kids, y'all need to stop fighting. I yelled that, right? And then one of the kids looked at me, sees my name tag, and says, sir, my girlfriend has the same name as you. The entire gym busted out laughing. Yeah, they started laughing so hard they forgot about the fight they were having. Crazy thing was the kid that said it was the kid getting beat up. I was like, okay, well, you know what? Y'all go back to doing what y'all doing. Punch him in the eye. Went back to my office and just cried while I went logged into LinkedIn. Oh, man. Um, I, I As a driver, like it's, it's different right now because I haven't been driving for too, uh, too long because, you know, the whole craziness outside. But I... um. I don't know. I, I had this weird thing that I would do. One of my favorite things to do while driving was um, I would fake an accent. I don't know if any of you guys have ever faked an accent before. It's it's the funnest thing to do. Uh, for some reason, I would always act like I was Rastafarian. Yeah, that was my thing. I'd act like I was Rastafarian. I'd um, get in the car and, and I was like, you know what? One in every four is going to get a Rastafarian accent. And so... I had a couple I picked. I said, all right, this is going to be the couple that I do my Rastafarian accent for. So they get in the car, and I'm just like, hey, how you doing? Welcome to my car. Yeah, what's up? How you doing? We're going to be cruising today about 35 miles per hour. You need a, you know, us to go to the left, or you need to go to the right? Just smack me on my shoulder. You want to go to the right? Smack me on my right shoulder. You want to go to the left? Smack me on my left shoulder. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to use the blinkers today. We're just going to be cruising like that. It's going to be great. It's going to be a really good time. And so... I'm talking to them like that, and the wife immediately goes, ooh, exotic, amazing, wow. The husband is totally against it. He knows I'm doing a fake accent. He knows. He's asking me little snive questions and stuff, looking at me crazy. And I'm just like, yeah, so, you know, how y'all do it? And the wife said, oh, my God, exotic, wow. Husband's like, all right, so uh, your name's Courtney, huh? Okay. Interesting accent you got there. Where are you from? Ah, yeah, yeah. Me and my mom, me and papa from Antigua. Now, between me and y'all, I don't even know if Antiguan people sound like this, okay? Didn't do no research. I just said something that came to mind. He's like, you from Antigua, huh? His wife immediately got the fence. was like, oh, my God, stop asking him so many questions. He's from Antigua. That's what they look like. She is totally lying for a stranger she just met a few minutes ago. Few minutes ago, y'all. Uh, I, I was like, "Yeah, I'm from Antigua. I'm from Antigua. My mom and my papa, they're from Antigua. I said, "Me, I'm from here. I'm from the sticks, you know." And he's asking question after question, and I'm trying to answer him. The problem is, y'all, the most that I can do this accent for is six minutes. 
I can only do this accent for six minutes. After six minutes, stuff gets kind of weird. So he's asking question after question. I finally looked down at the trip as he's asking questions. And I see this trip is 18 minutes long, y'all. Now, if y'all know one thing, you cannot start a trip with an accent and do what? Drop that accent. If you drop that accent, you'll get five stars. But it'll be the GTA kind. Shout out to my gamers that catch that joke reference. Oh, man. So I'm getting asked questions. I'm freaking out because I really can't do this accent for that long. I could do it for about six, seven minutes at the most or something. I really, I, I just, I can't. So he's asking question after question and I'm getting nervous and I'm getting worried, y'all. And then finally, he asked one question too many and I just panicked and responded in such a way. He's like, hey, man, so uh, are you married? And I was just like, honey, came in and said, call me butt naked. He was like, wait, what? I was like, Sleeping with the girl next door. And the crazy thing was, he got quiet. He's in the back seat now, like, the heck did he just say? Best part was is that he shut up. He stopped asking questions. And so I was like, you know what? I got a strategy. I'll just keep driving and get them to their destination. And if he asks any other questions, I'll just respond with another line of the song. So he's quiet for a minute, and also he goes, Excuse me. And I was like, how did I forget that I had given her an extra key? All the time she was standing there, she never took her eyes off me. He was completely quiet. We were almost home free, y'all. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, because it's 2020, I don't start stuff without finishing it. So he was quiet at this point. I had, I had accomplished my mission. I was almost home. But for some reason, I just had to finish the song. And so I was back there. I was like, when she caught me in the shower? And from the back of the car, I just heard, it wasn't me. And I was like, oh, no. Turns out he knew the words to the song, y'all. He was just waiting for his part. Oh, my goodness. Um, It was fun because, like, I got them home. Like, they were quiet after that, you know. I left. They got, I got them home. And um, on on, on the, rap, the, the, the app, you can actually leave compliments and comments and stuff. They tip me, y'all. I got a tip. And then I got a compliment and said, hey, yo, the in-car entertainment was fun. Accent needs a little bit of work, but I get it. It wasn't you. And I find that as a win. I was like, you know what? That's a win. That was fun. That was cool. Oh, man. I, I, I really, I've never told people where I got the accent from. So the whole accent thing came from my friend. One of my friends actually became Rastafarian. Real thing. He became Rastafarian. And he just picked up an accent out of the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I had never knew that you could be 30 years old and then one day change your religion and all of a sudden have an accent to go with it. So my homeboy, Al, just decided to become Rastafari. I was like, okay, cool. But then out of nowhere, he had an accent to go with it. Yeah, I was on the phone with him one day. He was like, yeah, man, what's up, man? So how you doing? You doing anything? You chilling? I was like, yeah, I'm doing I'm just chilling, man. And out of nowhere, like five minutes into the conversation, he's just remembered he had an accent. He's like, hey, man, so let me tell you some stuff right now. So the way back on, I'll do it. And I'm going say, fuck, fuck. I was like, what in the world? You ever get a call from somebody and you don't know who they are? Uh, or you're talking to them and you're like, wait a minute. I, I didn't call this person. Who is this? You got to look at the phone again. I, I put him on speaker. I was like, hey, mom, come in here. Listen to Alfred. He lost his mind. You hear this? He got mad and hung up. I was like, "Pucka, pucka!" I don't know. Uh, Y'all ever do that thing where when you meet somebody with an instant accent, you find yourself co-opting their accent? I do. I do it to him. Every now and then, I like to argue with him with his own voice. Yeah, a conversation has literally went down where he was talking to me, and I just responded to him with his voice. I don't even know why that's fun for me. It's just, I don't know. I guess I'm a horrible person, maybe. Uh, one last thing before I get the heck out of here, man. This has been fun telling jokes to a uh, to a, to a phone. Um, let's see. I'm going to leave you guys with a treat. If y'all could do me a favor, I don't even really know if this will work, but let's try it out. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys what my name could have been had it not been Courtney. Now, what I need all you guys to do, whoever it is that's watching this, I need you to make me a drum roll, please. Start making me a drum roll. Be it on the table, whatever you want to do. Make the drum roll. Come on. Make the drum roll. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm going to unveil what my name could have been. All right, guys. This next comic coming to you all the way from the mean streets of Austin, Texas. Standing six foot three, weighing 200 and none of your business pounds. Give it up for Chadwick. Bam. Yep, that was the closer. 
Oh, man, I cannot wait to tell jokes to real people out of this dang room. I told you, this is a room. I'm in a corner of a room telling jokes. Hey, this is Simply Courtney, a.k.a. Not Chadwick, a.k.a. Lord of Mercy. It wasn't me. <laughs> Rick Betancourt. We are so amazingly excited to have him on the show and to share his music with you now. Please support him by going to his website, eric-betancourt.com, to listen to all sorts of music that he has available. Please enjoy the music stylings of Eric Betancourt. Yay! Eric Betancourt, are you connected? I am, yes. Thanks, Chris. Eric, thank you. Welcome to Black Box Live. The stage is yours, my friend. All righty. confusion Weigh you down with sympathy This darkness in those eyes of yours I'm trying not to let it swallow me You know everybody has and a hook attached to a string And I'm sure I'm no different I just asking you for one thing Your smile, your smile It's been missing this whole damn day Your smile could move the mountains out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best to make you shine. Pour another glass, the old red wine. I'm gonna shoot for a laugh. I will take a grin, but if I can't make you smile, I hope nobody can. Oh, please don't shut down on me this evening. See, I'm wrapped so tightly inside your spell. But if I can't find your heart and smile, baby, mine gonna disappear as well. Your smile, your smile, it's been missing this whole damn day. And your smile could move the mountains out of the way. I'm gonna do my best to make you shine. I pour another glass of that old red wine. I'm gonna shoot for a laugh. I will take a grin, but if I can't make you smile, I hope nobody can. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make you shine. I pour another glass of that old red wine. I'm gonna shoot for a laugh, and I will take a grin. But if I can't make you smile, I hope nobody can. Thank you. My name is Eric Bencourt. Um and uh, hey, I'm an Austin, um, Austin, Texas musician, and like pretty much every other musician in the city, I've kind of. Uh, lost all the gigs I had ahead of me. Um, it's, I guess everybody's hurting from this. And um, I guess that's just my story. And I'm by no means going to um, try to play it up like I'm the only one because we're all in this together and it's it's a tough thing. So I, thanks to uh, Black Box for having me and 
Good Council Services and as well as um, HC Productions. Um, so hey, I'll play some music uh, for you on this here baritone guitar. Let's see what's a good one for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here's an older song of mine. I'm so old, I'm, I'm going to cheat on my cheat on my lyrics if you don't mind. of your skin once the drink started winning the wheel started spinning on this one man rescue mission mm -hmm. you left me high and dry dear. it's not gonna stop here I'm bending hell straight to your door one more act in this play the end ain't too far away the crowd will get what they paid for yeah, well, I am, I am, I am Come to take it from your man Oh, well, I am, baby Yes, oh, you know I am well, It's my bed, you made it And sometimes you stay You have your cake, you're eating it too And the rules to this game But I no longer play Standing runner up to your other fool. Yeah. No longer eat, baby. I no longer sleep. And I hardly taking care of myself. You see, I'm the same man. I feel your pleasure in pain. No longer gonna sleep on the shelf. Oh, well, I am. I am. I am gonna take you from your man. Oh, well, I Just imagining how good it will be Ten miles rolling in under me Imagining how good it will be How good it all will be To finally set things right, baby I'm taking you with me Cold, I was hopeless and frozen. All I had to hold was a gun. Once the drink started winning, the room started spinning. I left no question what had to be done. Hey, well, I am, I am, I am. Come and take it from your man. Oh, well, I am, baby. Oh, yes, you know I am. Thank you guys so much. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're all staying safe and as sane as possible. I want to switch up um, instruments here. I'm not going to put it there. Here, we'll do this. Well, this here, this is a, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically, a guitar, a banjo's body. I've grown a perverse affinity for this thing. I just love the sound of it, and um, I'm fond of saying it. This machine kills bluegrass snobs. It really does. Um, but I'm not really a bluegrass kind of guy. I don't consider myself a hipster either, but I kind of want to take back this sound. I think it's a beautiful sound. Beautiful in its ugliness. It's such a strange instrument. That's where I tuned this right before.
that's the banjo coming out of it. Yeah, here's one of my uh, here's one of my songs. It's called Underwater Dream. It's off my last record. I have a new record coming out very soon. You. That song's called Underwater Dream. Um, I really am having fun playing on this thing. Um, hell, let's do another one. This is a brand new song of mine that um, I'm a very slow songwriter, and this one took a number of years. And I get a little obsessive and a little crazy over it. But man, I'll just tell you what when it's right, it's right. There's, it's like a, it's just like putting together a jigsaw puzzle and you, um, the piece ain't there, the piece ain't there. When you find it, it just falls right in. And, um, this is one of those songs, it's just a little, the last, the last 1% of it was just, uh, it was a bull. It's tough. 
called Magnetic Fields. I'm going to be releasing it as a single. Um, it's got a full band and all kinds of fun stuff. So I don't think I've ever tried to play it on this, so I can hear it differently. And now I'm turning wrenches Far from what needs fixing Your world contained no fences Full of beauty and suffering Now we're waiting for the colors To return to the scenery absorbing time how could i brace for impact in the garden of your poor design from broken lines we were only seeking shelter all roads are simply searching for a place to die on this growing trail between us i watch my shadow drag a busted crush the only rules of love and sorrow to ask for nothing is to ask too much Much. To ask for nothing is to ask too much. Check. I'm gonna put some verb in my voice. It sounds a little too too flat for me. Um thank you guys so much. <clears throat> Again, that was a new song if you're just tuning in. Um well let's do I'll do one more on this, I guess. Ooh, is this a bad idea? It might be. We'll find out together. It's the best idea I've ever had, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, this song's called Around the Block. It really started as a funk song many, many years ago, and um, I kind of found this nice finger-picking way of doing it. How does it go? Thank you. 
can't talk I know this boy He comes right undone Just make him beg for mercy Just for fun You fool, she could break Hercules. Oh no, she dry with his dreams. She's a hypnotist collector boy. She ain't never what she seems. If disaster, what you're looking for? Well, cutting out for more and more and more. Rubik's Cube. When the lights go down, I promise that you will too. She's been around the block before, in and out of every door. She's looking for in this face of mine, in yours. You fool, she could break Hercules. Oh no, so dry you wear the streets. She's a limited collector boy. She ain't never what she seems. And if disaster, what you're looking for, well, you're calling out for more and more and more. Oh no! You fool! And now it's asking what you're looking for. You're gonna look for more and more and more. Now that song's called Around the Block. It's gonna be on my new record coming out. I'm going to try to probably probably won't be putting it streaming too soon. Probably end up streaming sometime in the fall, but uh, I will be selling CD of it as soon as um I can get the damn thing out the door. It's getting there. Um, I don't know if I feel like going through the rigmarole, switching up guitars again, but I, I think I need to, I'm going to play, um play a little bit on the 12 string here. I have a few friends that are, um, I envy the death. Somehow they can just go to a gig with one guitar. They just, they just, I don't know. I can't, I can't paint with run, one brush, I suppose. I got a couple more songs for you guys. So, um, So I'm going to down tune this one as well. This is going to be a, for all your guitar players. You'll notice it's another drop D song. This guitar is actually tuned a little lower. Dropped a whole step, which means it makes it sound pretty fat. So this song's called... Um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do this song. This is called Baby in the Bathtub. This is one of my higher yielding views, view counts on um, places like YouTube and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, it's from Baby in the Bathtub. It's pretty much fictional. I'm not a dad. Thank you. 
she's as clean as a girl can be. That's my baby, and that's her. Oh, she's looking to get dirty. That's my baby running circles. She's buzzing like electricity. That's my baby running circles. She's as clean as bird can be. That's my baby, and that's her. She's looking for me. play one more song for you and uh once again it's a really great thing that uh black box is putting on and uh and a hell of a lot of good that um good council services is, is uh, doing for it's quite um it's quite amazing to me the way people pulled so closely together so quickly in such a strange time with so much going against us um, it's quite extraordinary. So thank you guys again. My name is Eric Bittencourt. Um, hopefully there's links and everything on wherever this is posted. So I'm sure there will be. But I do have a website with all kinds of stuff going on there. Merch, t-shirts uh, by vinyl records. Uh, it's what I do for a living. And um, all right. Well, thanks so much. This song's out called This Big House. It's a little older, but it's going to be on my next record because it never made another one. All right. Thank you. Oh, and also thank you to HC Productions. This big house is gonna make you lose your mind. This big house gonna make you lose your mind. Every time I open a door, a room I've never seen before, and every time I turn my head, furniture rearrange itself in this big house you won't lose your mind this big house is gonna do it to you every time every time i fall asleep i'm woken by the strangest dreams and every time i hear a sound I cover my head and I hit the ground In this big house you're gonna lose your mind This big house is gonna do it to you every time Can you feel the eyes inside her walls? The breath whirling through her antique halls 
beneath the weight of her ceilings. I watch the window slowly darkening. In this big house, you're going to lose your mind. Every time I talk out loud, something tells me to keep it down. And when I try to step outside, the door slams shut and is locked up tight. In this big house, you're going to lose your mind. Oh, well, this big house, going to do it to you every time. is gonna make you lose your mind oh this big house gonna do it to us every time all right guys thanks again appreciate you greetings from austin texas Thank you so much for tuning in to Black Box Live. I have been your host, Amy Jordan, and that has been a wonderful evening filled with amazing performers that we have put together for you tonight. We are so happy to be able to provide this show to you, you guys. We just really enjoy being able to find all these great performers and put all of their content in front of you so that you can enjoy yourself on a Friday night. The world is a little bit different, you guys, but we want to stay connected and we want to stay connected with you. Please, if you can, donate to our fund. Help the people in need. Go to blackboxlive.tv or go to goodcouncilinc.org or hcuniversalnetwork.com. No matter what website you go to, there will be links for you to donate to help people in need. And if you're one of the people in need that need help, Fill out the form and we will try to help you as quickly as we can. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the show and have a great night.